So my story is, at a point in time, I was frustrated with my business in Ghana and obviously frustrated with people and their mentality. So I chose Spain to be my destination. I studied the language, did other courses, my master's, and then I got a job. Well, it has its own ups and downs, tried to be freelance and decided I will divert my profession into tech. As what? As a web developer. That wasn't so easy, but well, I did it. And I decided with my husband. Wait, did I tell you I got married? Okay, yes, I got married. So we decided to relocate to the UK. So I'm in the UK now and I'm going to start my first job as a web developer. Isn't that so beautiful? Well, that's the story. That's the beautiful part of the story, okay? But the realistic part of the story is I was able to do all of this in six years. Well, I'm in my seventh year, okay, in all of this, leaving Ghana, integrating into Spanish culture, learning the language, blah, 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 getting a job, blah, 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 till now. Now, I have said and mentioned this in most of my videos, but I will never stop saying this or mentioning it because I'm advocating for people who want to relocate to other countries, especially from Africa, that you need to get the right information. Without any form of information and without any form of connection, you are doomed. You're going to struggle. I struggled a lot and not only me, no. <laughs> I met other people from other countries, other races who went through the same rough and tough challenges like me. So it's not like it's just me. No, it's really, really tough financially, psychologically, and emotionally to relocate. If you don't get the information right, hmm, you are going to struggle, okay? Don't build your hopes and your future on speculations and rumors that greener pasture is here or it's better here. Also think about what you have to sacrifice or what you have to put into that to get what the dream has been painted to be. Is it realistic? Does it sound realistic? Because when you get here, when you get abroad or you travel to other countries, like you're not met with opportunities. Yes, yes, yes. There are many opportunities to exploit, but sometimes you could exploit that opportunities in your current destination or your current location. So just get the information as well. Because I have met architects. Okay, I have met engineers, doctors, nurses, scientists who have been reduced to be sales women or doing marketing or have become cleaners. Why? Because your qualification in your country or in your continent might not, in most cases, will not be recognized in your destination or in the new country that you have traveled to. So you will have to take another exams or another year or years of another form of education to qualify what you have already been qualified for. This is just how it goes. And not everybody has the laws way to undergo that education or to rewrite that exam that they wrote 10 years, 5 years, 2 years or 20 years ago just to justify their qualification as a particular profession. So you know some people just give it up and what they do they become cleaners and i'm not saying cleaning is not a it's a job but if based on a decision that i made i have to change into another career that doesn't pay me well that i am not happy with there is a problem 
so yes get the information well wherever you are before you make that move and try to make some connections it might not be direct connection but be part of some facebook group or some meetup group before you arrive in that country by so doing it's easy to get the right information as to where to go what to do how to do certain things and how to get your way around so that you can really survive because it is not easy the picture is so beautiful but behind that picture there's a lot of crying a lot of emotional breakdown you're going to be financially broke and challenged and in some cases you'll be resort to being on the streets homeless in the cold in the cold no one to go to no one to run to and even though there are a lot of organization and other government bodies that are helping homeless people it is still not easy there and there are a lot of homeless people on the streets of europe america and there is an amount of poverty in every part of the world it's just that that of asian continent and that of africa is just painted all over in the media and everywhere so nobody ever think about poverty in europe or in america or in australia or other continent but they are like poverty everywhere you will get to europe or america and you will meet people or find cases that will just put like uh-huh reaction on your face you'll be like what like okay yeah so be realistic, okay, travel, relocate, uh, be adventurous, okay, go and explore other opportunities. You might not know who you might meet, <laughs> but be realistic. I will do like thousand videos saying the same thing over and over again because I want this message to reach a lot of people yes 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 go and explore but do that wisely now this is it for this video you know there is one thing that makes me super excited and that is when you spend time to watch or engage with my content i am so grateful to you please do share them subscribe if you haven't if you have already subscribed and still supporting me i am so grateful i do appreciate your effort and um i do appreciate your effort so be you be bold do whatever you want to do and say whatever you want to say as long as you're not hurting anyone but most of all be motivated and inspired well let me lay this bed see you in the next video i'm out stay motivated and inspired